Sciences Po. It is for me uh, both a great pleasure and also an honor to uh, be here this evening for the opening of our third distinguished KFAS Sciences Po conference. The COET program at Sciences Po, it supports initiatives and programs to further advances in the study and teaching of social sciences. We are very proud to be associated with Science Po. What is the origin of war and how to prevent war from three dimensions, diplomacy, anthropology, and climate? We understand that they are tired with Afghanistan and they want to withdraw from the country. But if there is no responsible withdrawal, then what will happen? The conflict will continue, and the conflict in Afghanistan, as it's shown already, that will not stay in our boundary wall. War is the rule of force and arbitrariness. A human rights approach to war is, in my opinion, an illusion, and uh, we should try to uh, free ourselves from these illusions because we need to be very lucid in a war con in a war situation in any conflict situation by the way i think it's interesting to have a conference that combines but human rights and we see conflict, especially with people from different backgrounds and have a good discussion, so I think that's nice to see. Multilateral diplomacy is in trouble and that uh, in fact we have a duty to have meetings like this one to, in order to make multilateral diplomacy back again as it was after the Cold War. Any global issues need a global solution. We need each other to tackle these issues, so we need a place to meet and talk and have a dialogue in order to find a solution to these issues. Our species is not biologically destined for war. War is not an inescapable part of social existence. War shapes societies to its own ends. Opponents are constructed in conflict. Leaders favor war because war favors leaders. I think I was most surprised by um, uh, Professor Ferguson's comments about those 10 uh, factors he's observed by watching uh, years and years and years of chimp uh, activities uh, and then trying to link that with an understanding of human nature. What happens if you step out of a Western narrative? The role of the journalist is my biggest topic at the moment because I came from from that perspective of the Afghan war and I, I do think that we as mainstream media as a 24-7 news business we really need to do a bet, better job with more neutral reporting. I never never saw the raise of one priority as we at the European uh, level as we had uh, on climate change in the last 18 months. Never. We need to ask ourselves why it raises questions and issues about conflicts. A first element of answer to that question is because it does. I think this is an issue that requires much more attention, especially migration from rural areas to urban centers, because a lot of these urban centers at the moment are no longer able to cope with the additional influxes of migrants. So I think this is the key risk if we don't pay attention to it, and the reason why we need to pay much more attention to internal migration and not just only to international migration. I'm really impressed by the uh, implication of uh, uh, KFAS. The amount of resources since I believe 1976 to foster this kind of dialogue I think is extraordinarily important. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks.